Hello everyone and welcome back to Family Life Builders TV where we're rebuilding homes and transforming society. My name is Tosin Okuelua and I am a transformational coach. In this video, I'm just going to be talking about how to overcome rejection. I was sitting down here, I was meditating and you know, some of these things started coming into my heart. And anytime I have a feeling like that, I know somebody needs to hear the, this word at this time. So what is rejection? Rejection is a feeling of guilt, shame, pain that come as a result of being excluded from a particular group or being excluded from a benefit or being excluded intentionally or unintentionally or consciously from a particular opportunity. Most of the time, um, this rejection comes from loved ones. It comes from family members. It comes from ro even romantic relationship. It comes from career. It comes from even uh, our children, it comes from parents. So rejection is something that eats people up. You know, rejection is is not just about how you've been you've been treated. You know, is more about you, and that's what I'll be talking about tonight. When you don't deal with rejection, it could lead to so many things. For example. A lot of people that have been rejected in uh, jobs might stop um, applying for jobs. You know, when people receive lots of rejection, they want to stop trying. They want to quit, you know, quit from their dreams. They want to abandon their goals. They want to abandon their dreams and their vision because they feel, well, no matter what I've done, <laughs> you know it's still rejection so they start feeling there is no way anymore they, they give up on themselves they give up on their dreams so those are uh that's one of the things that rejection can cause rejection can also um cause people to do some self-harm or self-damage uh one of the things i've seen is when people have pains uh, there's every tendency that they want to medicate the pain with self-harm um, options like going into drugs, alcohol, um, sex, you know, illegal sex and all that. So people do lots of things just to medicate the pain. And rejection is number one about more about you, not more of the person. Because when people reject you, somehow, like when I was defining it, I was talking about being conscious or unconscious. Sometimes it's unconscious. Sometimes it's because you don't qualify. And sometimes it's because you qualify, but they, they, they just decide to choose another person over you and one thing that i i have seen is when you are rejected there's always something better and bigger depending on how you undo it and how you manage it if you undo it well god has a way of rewarding you but if you undo it the other way around then you might not be able to enjoy the benefits that comes with you know the favor that's a company being rejected because when you are rejected it's because there's something bigger but when you 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 become angry when you started reacting to the rejection then there's every tendency that you will block or destroy the opportunity that could have followed for you so i want to talk about are some ways by which you can actually overcome rejection and the number one way is to start loving yourself no matter what and uh, some people believe that um it's a wrong knowledge for you to start loving yourself but the truth is you can't love your neighbor as yourself if you don't even know how to love yourself and that's why you see lots of people are hurting other people because why they don't even know how to love themselves so if you don't know how to love yourself how will you be able to love other people if you don't know how to love yourself and how to love other people that you see how will you be able to love the god that you don't see 
So we will be deceiving ourselves if we don't love ourselves. That's the truth. Because when you love yourself, there are things that you will desist from naturally. If you love yourself, you won't go into some things. You won't go into drugs. You won't abuse drugs. You won't abuse alcohol. Because why? You love yourself. You love yourself so much that you want to do the best for yourself. You want to be the best for yourself. So when you are angry over rejection, uh, when you are bitter over rejection, you are not doing good to yourself. Because what happens is when you are bitter or when you are angry with people or when you are holding grudges and unforgiveness, so a bile will be released into your blood. So you are killing yourself bit by bit. So that is not loving yourself. So you need to start loving yourself. When I forgive people, I forgive you because of me. I don't forgive you because of you. I forgive you because of me. I forgive you because I want my own freedom. People have offended me. People have done so many nasty things to me. But I forgive because of me. Because I'm very, very loving. I, I, you know, I, 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 I'm, I'm showing myself love. I'm showing myself lots of love by letting go. Because I know that if I don't let go, then what's the point? I'm not going to allow God to do to do his part in this situation. I'm not going to, because I'll be, I'll be taking laws into my hands. I'll be doing things that will be contrary to what God desire that we do. So that's the number one thing. You need to start loving yourself. And when you love yourself, you are, you, are, you are not feeling superior. You are feeling good about yourself. You understand that there is something good about you. You understand that the, the, no matter what happened, what is for you is for you. What is not for you is not for you. And when you miss an opportunity, there is always a way, you know, for God to reward you or bring a better and bigger opportunity to you. Number two is develop a shock absorber. You know, um, some of the some of the reason why I stop getting angry with people um, is is this very very point. I stop getting angry with people because I lower expectation. I low I lower my expectation from people. It's not because I don't trust them. It's not because I don't love them, but. I, I, I won't, I won't be disappointed about your attitude. I won't be disappointed about your behavior because I lower my, I lower my expectation. I lower my expectation. Once you, 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 sometimes, sometimes you look at people. I, I don't want to judge. I don't want to decide, but I, I just want to allow things to unfold. So I try to give everybody permission because people also give me opportunity. People also give me permission to thrive, to show who I am. So I also give people opportunity to show who they are. And when they show who they are, you need to believe them. You need to believe them. So you need to develop a shock absorber. Once you, you, you don't have lots of expectation from people, then you will not be disappointed. Another thing, you need to do what you think you can't do. So surprise yourself by doing what you think you can do. You've been rejected for a long time. But at that point, at a point, you start forgetting about your goals. You start forgetting about your dream. You start forgetting about that little you that they ask you, what do you want to be? I want to be a doctor. What do you want to be? I want to be a nurse. You suddenly forget that person that you have. You know, you, you used to quote scriptures. You used to say, I, I, I know the thoughts that God has towards me. is the thought of peace and not of evil to give me a hope and a hand. I know my Redeemer leave it. I know God is able to do exceedingly abundantly far above what I can ever ask or imagine. I know that every good and perfect gift come from above, from the Father of light, in whom there is no variableness or shadow of turning. You suddenly forget those scriptures. You suddenly forget. You suddenly forget who you are. Now, I want you to pick up, you know, uh, 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 that, that space again and go back to those things that you've written down. You know where you wrote those goals, those dreams, you know, those visions. You you, you know where you left them and you, you've decided to abandon them because why? Because you've been rejected two times, three times. Um, I tell you, 300 doors might be knocked, but only one 
can open. Sometimes just one that opens, you know what happened. When one door opens, sometimes it will fling open the other 300 doors that was locked before. It will fling them open. I remember the, 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 this this lady. I don't know if if everybody knows her, but every Nigerian will know Funke Akindele. Funke Akindele, when she started Jennifer's Diary, a lot of people, you know, that he went to for sponsorship, they did not sponsor her because they don't see what she sees, and that's why you can't afford to be re to reject yourself when people reject you because they don't see what you see. So she continued. Today, those people who rejected her when she started are begging her to sponsor now. And she has to make a decision. She, she just needs to make a decision whether to accept them or not to accept them. You need to do the same thing. You need to do the same thing. Bounce back on that vision. Do the impossible. You are the owner of that vision. They've rejected you 10 times. Go to other places. Ask questions. Ask people to help you. Let them look at your CV. Let them rearrange things. Go back and apply again. You will get the job. I, I, I have a professor, Dr. Green. Dr. Green was like, at the point she applied for over a thousand jobs in Texas. But today, where she works, she's a director. She used to be my favorite professor. God bless her. She, she's wonderful. She's awesome. But those who were rejecting her, they didn't know that they were rejecting a pro. They didn't know that they were rejecting, you know, a, 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 an awesome person. So people who are rejecting you, they don't know you. They don't know those things that you were loaded with. They don't know that you were loaded with power, with wisdom, with grace. But when, if they know, then they would have, a, a, you know, taken you or employ you for their own selfish interest. But God is waiting. He's waiting to give you the best. He's, get, he's waiting to give you people that will appreciate you. People that are ready to nurture you into the greatness that is already in you. You don't even know what is in you yet until you have the opportunity, the platform to manifest them. And they will come out. You just, it, it, it's just a a, a thing of you coming out of the space of that depression as a result of rejection. Just come out of that space. Come out of that space and do what you feel you cannot do. Do what you think you cannot do. Dust your journal. Bring out those visions. Write the proposal again and do something awesome today. Number four, give thanks. I remember um, there was this particular time that I was really, really, you know, looking for something to do. I had challenges with my passports. Um, the embassies were not opened, so I couldn't get a new passport. I was looking for jobs and I was missing opportunities. And one day I, I just got a job and that job was not so good. But I was thanking God. I keep thanking God. I keep thanking God. And one day, as I was just coming from the place, it was so cold that I was I was freezing as I was walking down from the place to my house. And when I got home, I just opened my email and suddenly I got a job that I did not apply for. A job that I did not, I did not. I didn't, there was no interview. They don't know me, but it just happened suddenly. There is power in gratitude. There is power in giving thanks. When things happen, sometimes God just wants to see how grateful you are. So learn to give thanks for every situation. Learn to give thanks. If your family rejects you, learn to give thanks. People around you, the loved ones reject you. Learn to give thanks. Your spouse left you for someone that does not even want it. Yes, that's the person they want to be with. Let them be. Give thanks because something better, somebody better, something bigger, some, something better is coming for you. Is coming for you. And I want you to know that God sees all you're going through. Don't think God does not see. He sees. Don't think God does not know. He knows. He knows everything you're going through. He knows 
all you're going through. He knows your trial. He sees your pain. He sees everything you're going through. He can see your tears. Yes, he sees it. He sees everything. He sees your pain. He sees how much you have spent. He sees how much you have done. He sees all you have done to make sure that your business is growing, but it looks like it's not growing. He knows how much commitment you have made on getting ready for that interview, on sending CVs around, on contacting people, and yet it looks like it's not working. God sees how much you have done to love the other family member, but you really know that they don't love you. You really know what is going on, but they are even showing you. You know, some people will not love you and they won't show you, but some, some people will not love you and they will show you and let you know. You know, it's an act of rejection, but what am I saying? Give thanks. Give thanks. And the last thing I'm going to say is, if you feel that you have tried so hard and the rejection is, you know, really disrupting your daily activity or your daily functioning, well, you might want to see a therapist because um, rejection and uh, dysphoria always go along with ADHD, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. They work together. So sometimes you might want to see a therapist and let them do the proper diagnosis, let them do a treatment plan for you. If you're going to work with them, maybe using a CBT or a neuro linguistic programming, whatever they have to do, they are going to do it for you. They are going to, you know, help you. But here's the truth. Therapy heals. Therapy teach you how to heal. Therapy does not heal you, but they will show you. Therapy will show you how to heal. The bulk of the work is still in your hand. We can tell you that if you are thinking this way, you need to stop thinking this way. So it's, it's still left to you to accept the fact that you mustn't think that way. So when the thought comes, the therapist won't help you remove the thoughts. They are there with you. So you have to deal with it by yourself. You have to, but somebody will hold your old your The therapist will hold your hand and walk with you on that journey. The coach will hold your hand and walk with you on that journey. But it's still in your hand to make a decision to change things. Rejection is part of the package that life has. But the truth is, no matter how the feeling of rejection is, the love of God overshadows us. The love of God overwhelms us. What God says does not change. Even when everything changes, he loves you. Jeremiah said, the Lord has called me in the time of old, saying, yea, I have loved you with an everlasting love and I've called you with my loving kindness so he has he has loved you with an everlasting love and he does not change it the circumstances does not change it whatever happened does not change it if you if you go for a dna test and your father you realize your father is your father even when he rejects you does it change the fact that he's your father it does not change the fact that he's your father so for that reason the love of god does not change even when people reject you you should know that there's a father in heaven who loves you the way you are who accepts you the way you are who cares for you the way you are all he's waiting for is for you to recognize the fact that he loves you he cares for you he cares about you he cares about your situation he knows what you are passing through and he's willing he's more than able to do exceedingly abundantly far above you could ever ask or imagine he is so faithful he is too faithful to fail he cannot change he cannot change when everything change he does not change he is ever faithful he is the present help in time of need and he will show up for you in due season thank you so much for joining me tonight don't forget to subscribe it's the notification button like share with your friends and i'll see you in the next video bye for now